All right, welcome to video number four. Today we're gonna to talk about a really elusive topic that is tongue placement. In this video, it's gonna be really simple, but we all know that tongue placement can play a vital role in efficiency and ease in your trumpet playing. So today what I wanna do is simply demonstrate the benefits of this aperture setter and bringing awareness to where your tongue is. I'm gonna demonstrate what it's like when my tongue is far back in the mouth and what it's like when it's very far forward, almost touching this. So here I'm gonna demonstrate what it's like when my tongue is very low, not directing the air towards the chops. In that sound, it sounds big and diffuse, and you might think, ah, oh, that's what I want, there's a lot of sound. But on the trumpet, that doesn't work. It's gonna to be too much, too much air, too diffuse. Here's what it sounds like when my tongue is placed. I actually touch my tongue to this when it's inside the mouth and I direct the air directly towards the chops. And I wanna to explain to you why this is vitally important in you finding focus in your aperture. Here's the tongue placed very far forward. Now, that might not be a beautiful sound on this, but I steer you again to the oboe player. When the oboe player plays on their reed, is it a beautiful sound? No, it's a very concentrated, very high overtone in the sound. In fact, maybe it's not even a pleasing sound, but oboe players know that that sound inside the instrument brings color and projection into their playing. So let me demonstrate it one more time in one setting. I'll demonstrate the tongue back and then the tongue forward. <laughs> And the final point I want to make about tongue placement is that how can the tongue placement encourage you to have focus in the chops? Well, if the tongue is placing this and trying to steer the air to something like this, then the chops have some goal, a tangible goal. It's like, here's where the air is directed. If the tongue is far back and the air is diffuse, then the chops sort of have this big target. So having a focused airstream with the tongue placed forward almost in the position of about to say the can really help promote you putting work in the right place to create focus and centeredness in your aperture. All right, one final point here about tongue placement. We all know that this is vitally important in trumpet playing, but it's one of those areas that can be elusive, like what is my tongue actually doing? The aperture setter will help sensitize where that placement is and then it's your job to maintain that form, but that's what the tool is for, is to help, you remi help remind you where that is. So let's think, for example, maybe you have some fast tonguing passage, and you feel like you're very focused in your aperture. That passage will still be really sloppy if your tongue placement is too far back, because you're trying to get a big old fat airstream through a focused aperture without any direction. The opposite can be true. Your aperture can be all spread and your tongue position is directing the air right to where you think it should be. It's still sloppy because they're not working together. That's what this is gonna help you do. Build independence of those two things, focus and great tongue position.